Today I'm going to take you along as I get a lot done in our school space. All right, so first up, let me just say, I'm sorry if there's any kind of noise in the background. I definitely am having kids kind of coming in and out. My One of my toddlers is in the back playing at the moment. Anyways, welcome back. This is going to be video number two in my homeschool space series. I, I'm thinking I'm gonna call it school space series. I, I like alliteration, all S's, school space series. So if you saw last week's video, the introduction to this series, you got to see me kind of unbury this school space that was stacked to the ceiling with boxes. Uh, I just did kind of some preliminary wiping down and cleaning of the space and I gave you a tour and kind of talked through my vision of what I want this space to turn into eventually. It is going to be kind of a flex space where it's going to be a playroom and TV room for my kids, a school space, and then outside our walkout area, also a garden space. So it's going to serve a lot of different purposes, but I'm just so excited to kind of roll up my sleeves literally and get busy down here. So this is actually two days in the making. Yesterday I came downstairs and cleaned out all of these cabinets really thoroughly, mopped the floor, wiped wiped down the mirrors, just, just did a good cleaning of this space. It had not been touched since we bought the house, uh, so it definitely needed another once over. Now, there are a few additional things that I need to do to really dig in and clean this space. I want to get a special sink cleaner to try to take away some of these hard water stains and buildup that have happened around the bar sink. Uh, but for the most part, this area is now clean. It is ready to paint. And, you know, I'm sure I'm going to have to clean it several more times along in this process. Now, the basement down here is a very, very large area. There is no way I am going to be able to tackle painting this entire space in one day. So my goal for today is just to do kind of this main area around me, right around this main bar uh, built in area, just just get it trimmed out and rolled a few times. Now you can probably see that the walls behind me, they, they're Swiss cheese walls. The, the person who owned this house before us had so, so much hanging up on all of these walls uh, that a while back I went through and prepped and sanded and have them completely ready to start painting. Now, I'm sure some of you are going to ask, I am gonna go ahead and tell you that I am using Sherwin-Williams paint. I like their duration line and the color I'm using today is called Oyster White.
So I realized the fact that I am not taping a lot of this and that I am just freehanding as I am trimming and painting may horrify some of you. My grandpa and my parents taught me how to paint when I was like in high school and we have lived a lot of places and painted a lot of homes along the way and so I just feel confident enough in my own experience that I, I feel fine freehanding and not using all of the painter's tape. It's just one more step that I don't feel like I have to take everywhere in this room. Now, when I do get down around the counters and some things like that, you will see me using painter's tape. I, I really have no rhyme or reason. I just use it when I think I need to and when I don't, when I don't want to. Okay, so as I was taping that counter, I just realized that this tape is almost exactly the same color as the previous wall color. So if you're ever wondering what these look like off camera, grab some blue painter's tape and that is essentially the color of our entire basement. So I've run into just a slight little problem, snafu if you will. As I have been painting around the bottom near the countertop, I realized that the caulking that the previous owner put in is non-paintable. So no matter how straight of a line I paint, it is still kind of bubbling up and so it just means one more thing I'm going to have to do. We're going to have to go back through and re all of these counters, which honestly is probably something that needed done anyways, but just one more thing on the to-do list. squatting down and painting the edge of that counter between the bar and the countertop, that like little six inch ledge, that was quite the workout. Like I feel like I was squatting for 20 minutes straight. So, ooh, my legs are gonna be hurting tomorrow. First coat of trim is done. Now I just need to quickly, quickly do roller on the walls and then maybe get Ava up from a nap and maybe be able to do one more coat today. We'll see. Uh, I might have to push the rest of this project to tomorrow. I have one full coat done. It's definitely going to take two more. I hope not three. Uh, this is the same paint that we have used in a few other places throughout the house. And so I do know it takes a good couple of coats. I, I think it's just the color. It is a little bit thinner. I'm definitely ending up losing light. It is after nap time. And so it's starting to definitely just get a little bit darker in general, which is not, you know, ideal for painting. So I'm going to call it quits for today and hopefully get to add a couple more coats on here to Tomorrow. Be sure to stay tuned and subscribe to my channel if you have not done so already so that you can keep up to date with what's going on in our school space series. After I am done painting, I'm going to start decorating and organizing and putting all of our homeschool supplies away so you're not going to want to miss it. All right, well, my kids are hungry. It is dinner time and I got a bunch to clean up, so I will see you later. Mm -hmm.